Debbie Lynn, I'm so happy that you stopped by. Today we're going to be making a craft masseur, which is a take it up a few notches ham and cheese sandwich. It's um, made with a bechamel sauce, which is a white cheesy sauce on top, baked in the oven. It's crunchy, it's fantastic, it's decadent, and we deserve it. Let's do it. We're going to begin with making our bechamel sauce. This is a quick sauce to uh, put together, and it's so delicious. Let's turn the stove on. There we go. Let that melt for a few seconds here. Now we're going to be putting together three level tablespoons into the melted butter. I want to make sure I'm picking up all that flour. To see how nicely it's coming together. I'm going to let that cook for about 60 seconds. It's going to start bubbling a little bit on the top. I have that turned down. Okay, that was bubbling for about one minute. Now I'm pouring in one cup of whole milk and stirring that. Next, I'm going to be adding another half a cup of milk. I'm just going to stir this for a couple of minutes. I'm moving the heat up to like a low medium heat while I'm going to be adding a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, a level teaspoon of thyme, which you can find pretty much in all your uh, major grocery stores. A pinch of nutmeg. There's that pinch. About a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, because the cheese we're gonna be adding does have salt. A little bit of pepper. Let's keep mixing. Okay, that's beginning to thicken. I'm going to turn off my burner. So I'm going to be placing the last ingredient is a half a cup of the Gruyere and about a fourth of a cup of the Fontina. And it has been turned off. Perfect. You can see how this is thickened. I'm going to place a little bit more pepper in the bechamel sauce. Perfect sauce for your fantastic sandwich. Okay, we've made our bechamel sauce and now I've cut two slices of uh, bread from the um, bakery. and. We're going to begin with our croque monsieur by placing mustard on the top. Okay, I just placed one thin layer of ham on top of the uh, bread that I placed some mustard on top. Now what we want to do is take the Gruyere cheese and place that on top. Now we're going to be placing the bechamel sauce on top. We want to make sure that when we place the bechamel sauce on top, that we have all the corners covered, so it won't uh, the bread won't be burning. Fantastic! I'm going to be adding a little bit more of the Gruyere cheese. Fantastic! And a little bit of pepper. Okay, I placed my bechamel sauce on top of my ham, and now I've added a little bit more Gruyere cheese on top and a little bit of pepper, and I'm gonna be placing these in the oven at 400 degrees, keeping an eye on them after about seven minutes to make sure they're getting all bubbly.
Okay, I just removed the craft monsieur from the oven. It was baking for about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, I want to let the uh, craft monsieur rest for about 10 or 15 minutes so I can uh, taste all of the flavors of the sandwich. I've had so much fun sharing with you today my craft monsieur. It is absolutely decadent. Please subscribe to Debbie Lynn's Welcome Kitchen. Just tap that button and also think about leaving me a message. I get so excited when I hear a message from you. Enjoy the sunshine and see you soon.